Welcoming you to Frick Madison is this monumental bronze sculpture of an angel, a compelling testament to the craftsmanship of the bronze casters of 15th century France. This is one of the very few surviving metal sculptures from that time. The sculpture is impeccably cast, with the body in a single piece and the two wings attached by pins at the back. The angel's left wing is inscribed as follows, in French, on the 27th day of March in the year 1475. Jean Barbet, called of Lyon, made this angel. The day recorded in this signature was Easter Monday in 1475. Jean Barbet, identified as the caster, is listed in documents in Lyon, in the south of France, as a canon maker to the king. Angels. Even if you haven't touched the Bible, you probably have an idea on what they look like. They're those elegant, heavenly beings with long white robes, swan-like wings, and perhaps a halo on top for good measure. We also know what angel babies or cherubs look like. Those small, chubby, cute infants clasping a bow and arrow. The kind of thing you might see on a Valentine's Day card. Except, well, that's not what angels actually look like. Not according to the Bible. These are biblically accurate angels. These horrifying abominations are more suited to an H.P. Lovecraft novel, not really the Bible. So what are these things? Why do they look this way? And how have we got angels so wrong? Okay, so angels come from the Old Testament, the first half of the Bible for Christians, or the whole Bible, known as the Tanakh, for Jews. The Old Testament was written down in modern-day Israel and Palestine from about the 6th century BCE to the 3rd century BCE. 